we know that energy is the capacity to do work and we deal most often with energy in two forms those being kinetic energy and potential energy where we know that kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses as a result of its motion and this is essentially the energy that a moving object has that would be required to be transferred or removed in order to change the motion of that object. Now as a result of that definition we say that EK is equal to one half times the mass of that object times the velocity of that object squared. So what this tells us is that energy is directly proportional to the mass of the object meaning if the mass increases the amount of energy increases and it is directly proportional to the velocity of the object squared what this also tells us is that there's an exponential relationship there saying that the faster the object moves the more energy it has we know that mass must always be measured in kilograms in physics and velocity is always measured in meters per second and what we can see here is that the two factors that affect the kinetic energy of an object being mass and velocity, by increasing them you are saying that this moving object has more energy and therefore would require more energy or work to stop it or to change that energy. The second type of energy that we deal with often is potential energy. The energy an object possesses as a result of its position relative to others and the most common potential energy that we will be dealing with is gravitational potential energy. This is the energy that an object has as a result of its distance from the surface of the earth. Because we know that as you lift an object from the surface of the earth, you are giving it the potential to fall back down because it is attracted by the force of gravity. And so we say that the potential energy, gravitational potential energy of an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by the gravitational acceleration multiplied by the height of that object above the surface of the earth where we know that mass again measured in kilograms g is our constant of 9.8 meters per second per second and h is the height above the surface of the earth measured in meters. So what this shows us is that the potential energy that an object possesses is directly proportional to the mass, meaning that a heavier mass has more energy or more potential to fall down to the earth again, and it is also directly proportional to the height above the earth, once again saying that the higher an object is, the more potential energy it has to fall back down to the surface of the earth. And then finally, we would sometimes refer to mechanical energy, where mechanical energy is the sum of your kinetic and potential energy. We say EM is equal to EK plus EP. And in most cases, mechanical energy would be conserved. We know that this applies most often in roller coasters and swings, where an object that is stationary at the top meaning it has zero kinetic energy but has potential energy and then as that object falls or moves down to the bottom its speed picks up because the kinetic energy is becoming or coming from potential energy and then as it moves up the other side again the kinetic energy is converted once again into potential energy. Important to note here that there are other types of potential energy there is also elastic potential energy that is the result of a stretched elastic. Obviously, again, the motion relative to each other as you pull an elastic further away, the amount of potential increases. There is also electrical potential energy that is as a result of placing a charged object in an electrical field. And so there are a number of different potential energies but the most common one that we will be dealing with is gravitational potential energy.